Hello my friends and welcome to Vollmer of America's new 30,000 square foot building in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Just 10 minutes outside of Pittsburgh's International Airport. I hope you'll join me and come take a look inside. Peter Allen, how are you? Pleasure to meet you, Tony. Thank you very much for coming to Volmer of America. Uh, thank you so much for having me. So, guys, just so you know, we're at Volmer of America right now. I'm here with Peter Allen, and we're going to talk a little bit more about what does Volmer do. Yep, well, as you, a lot of people will know, Volmer has been in existence since 1909. And we are synonymous around the world for high-quality grinding machines for the saw blade industry as well as the rotary tooling industry and also the erosion tool industry. And, you know, we have 14 subsidiaries globally around the world and Volmer of America is proud to be one of those companies. That's incredible. Over a century, right? Yeah, over a century. And, you know, a lot of people will have machines going back 45 years. You know, we are proud to have that sort of long-term history of good quality grinding machines. As you should, and when you mention good quality, these are German made, right? German based. They are German made. Obviously, as I said, we're 14 subsidiaries around the world. We have three manufacturing bases, two in Germany and one in China, mostly for the Asian market, that machines, and it's the smaller end machine, but most of the manufacturing is done in Germany. We have 85 people in our R&D department, 15% of our turnover is normally invested in R&D each year. That's impressive. And we're looking at a new 30,000 square foot building, which I believe jumped up from 12,000. So your future is bright and you're planning to be here for a long time here in the U.S. Volmer of America was the first subsidiary that Heinrich Volmer bought out of, you know, out of Germany. It was so vitally important. And as I say, we've now taken up leap to 14 subsidiaries. But Volmer of America had to invest for the future because, you know, we are one of the biggest subsidiaries out there for the Volmer Group, and we needed to invest for the customers of North America. And we have grown over the last few years, and we had to make sure that that reflected to our support and our technology as we keep growing our technology for the future. So therefore, you know, this new facility was, you know, planned at board level and we want to make sure that we support the North American market to the utmost ability we have. Because after all, our customers are the ones who pay our salaries. So therefore, we have to invest in that and make sure that we are here for the future for them as well as ourselves. Well, knowing you, Peter, and talking with you previously, I also know that Vollmer values the, the employee base as well, the co-workers, and the amount of importance that everyone you work with brings to the table with, with the machines and the service and, you know, the front desk people and everyone that you surround yourself with. That's of utmost importance to Vollmer and certainly Vollmer here in the U.S. as well. You're absolutely right, Tony. One of the things is, yes, we may have 14 subsidiaries. Yes, we may be a global leader in our machines, but we are a family oriented company, right? Miss Volmer is still actively involved. Although she's 95 years young, she's still very much involved in all the day-to-day -day business and comes to exhibitions. And it's great to see such youth and enthusiasm. And she's a complete, um, aspiration to us all. You know, if we can all be like that when we're 95, it's a wonderful achievement. And it's, we're very proud to have her. And most importantly, as I said, we're a family oriented company and it's our people that makes our company. So globally, we are 14 subsidiaries, but the most important thing within that subsidiary and the mother company and all manufacturing companies is the people and without those people and without their motivation without their enthusiasm we're just a normal company and that's what makes Volmer different absolutely love it such an inspiration well I know after those statements 
the people watching right now want to see more of this facility. Can we take a look around and take a, uh, see your showroom and your warehouse and everything else you guys have going on here? It would be an absolute pleasure to show you around, Tony. Perfect. Now we're here with my friend Shannon Fox, the VP of Sales at Volmer America, and we're going to learn a little bit more about the growth of Volmer here in the U.S. and what it's done for the sales itself. So Shannon, thank you so much. Thanks for coming in. As you've just recently heard, we have moved into our new building, and uh, we're very excited about that. We have a very wide customer base uh, covering a number of different industries, anywhere from aeronautics to automotive, uh, all the way to cabinetry and um, the forestry industry, of course. We have very, very deep roots back there. Uh, currently, we house a number of machines in the building, and we're very excited about that because we did not have the uh, space uh, before we moved. So now we get to bring in a lot of different machines where we can serve customers more locally uh, than uh, where we would have to take them to Germany prior. Well, if I was a customer, I would love going to Germany, but it's also a little bit quicker to have it here in the U.S., right? And we, and we know Vollmer to be an exceptional German company. I mean, top notch, right? So what has this 30,000 square foot facility helped you do more of? I believe you have more office space and more showroom space and some turnkey space, more warehousing space. Overall, this allows you to support your customers in a really significant way. It, it does, Tony, and we are looking at expanding even further as we grow uh, both in the sectors that we've currently served and expanding into new sectors with new machinery that we're bringing online, such as the V hybrid and the V laser machines in the very near future. Exciting. And tell me a little bit more about your capability to talk with anyone in the country. If I'm not mistaken, walking around this beautiful facility, I, was, I saw three or four rooms that have Zoom capabilities and meeting capabilities to really visit with anyone. You're absolutely right, and that was something before the pandemic really started that we were considering. Uh, we want to have open communications with our customers, with our partners, uh, where we make communication between each other as seamless as possible. And with that, we brought in Zoom rooms into personal offices like my own and Peter's, into group meeting areas where we can bring in multiple people together. And we've also made the connection in the showroom to where we can have virtual demos, do troubleshooting on site with machines that we have while working and direct, directly talking with the customer. And you guys are only about 10 minutes, 10 miles from the Pittsburgh International Airport, which makes it extremely convenient for people to get to you. Quick in and out right here. We are the first exit uh, leaving the airport into Pittsburgh, and we can get you back if you need to get on a flight in the next 20 minutes. Beautiful. Well, Shannon, thank you so much for sharing this perspective through sales, and I look forward to seeing and sharing with our audience here the rest of the amazing facilities you guys have here in Pittsburgh. Thank you very much. I'd like to show you the rest now. Appreciate it. Well, my friends, now we're in the service department, and I'm with my buddy Lloyd, the service manager, and we're going to learn a little bit more about what Volmer America does here to support the customers. So, Lloyd, thank you so much. Appreciate you being here. Thank you. So, let's talk a little bit about service and how many service engineers you guys have and what you guys offer your customers in, in order of service. Yeah, so we have eight service technicians right now. We have three off-site and four on-site. We have one on the West Coast, one in Minnesota, and then the other one in Georgia. So this gives us the ability to stretch things out and have better response times to get to the customers. That makes sense and good to have everyone in a certain region. And if I'm not mistaken, you guys are always looking for competent help, right, in the service department. So yeah, we're always looking for technicians uh, to fill positions that we need. So if anyone's out there, I'd appreciate it if they want to get in contact with me. Absolutely. So when we're talking about service, service from Volmer, what type of service do you guys offer your customers? We offer applications, training, uh, installation of machinery, complete rebuilds, and PM services on machines. 
Well, you are an amazing service manager. This I already know, but I am excited to take a look at these machines. So can we go out to the showroom and take a look? Sure. Awesome. Well, Shannon, good to be talking to you again. And now, as everyone can see, we are in this gorgeous showroom. So let's talk a little bit about what the showroom offers to everyone that you guys work with. Thank you again. Uh, obviously, yes, we, we have moved in again to the new building. Uh, if you were familiar with our previous location, you would have seen that we had a, a minimal sized showroom. And over the years, you know, that served us well, but the machines have grown. Uh, our, our line has grown. So we needed a space where we could showcase high technology machines in a high technology environment. So we pulled out all the stops we made a uh, showroom that's approximately one third the size of this building. That way we can fit a good variety of our machines in and cover almost all of our customers' needs in this location. Well, it's obviously, and I've already said a gorgeous showroom, which it is, but I think it's important to understand the massive size of it. And you said one third of the overall 30,000 square feet. So we're looking at around 10,000 square feet just for the showroom. Extremely important to understand what a showroom can do for customers on the opposite side of the country, right? To have the ability, and you're doing some turnkey applications here as well. Absolutely. Uh, we want to make it, again, as easy as the customers, as easy for the customer as possible so they can send in drawings. We can do test grinds, test samples, uh, get that back out to the customer before they come in to see the machine. Ultimately, you know, that's what we're here for. We want to be able to provide almost uh, as quick turnaround results as possible uh, compared with the other building where we would need to time to set up. Uh, now we've got machines on the floor. At almost a moment's notice, we can go out to that machine, jump on it, and get moving. Well, it's obvious to me that the size of the showroom supports everything that you guys are doing at the moment, right? Whether it be the sales, which you're the VP of, or the service where you have eight guys around the country, four in-house, four out of house. And we're looking at some incredible machines here that allow you to really support your customer on all fronts, right? So let's talk a little bit about the machines that we have here and what they do. Absolutely. Uh, well, we're looking at the front row uh, in the showroom, which basically consists of uh, rotary tooling. Uh, our first machine is the V-Pulse 500 which covers PCD rotary tools. Uh, second machine is the V-Grind 360. It's the premier machine of our solid carbide rotary tool and cutter grinders, <clears throat> followed up by the V-Grind 340S, which is more dedicated to smaller diameter tools, uh, also on the solid carbide rotary. Beyond this row, we will have the V-Hybrid, which combines the grinding capabilities of the solid carbide rotary tool and cutter grinder with a rotary erosion uh, so we can do drills and mills that have PCD and solid carbide in them. Uh, eventually we will also have a V laser when we bring that out. Uh, we're shooting for IMTS next year so you know, get, your, get your tickets and come see us. Uh, we'd be happy to have you here. In addition to the uh, rotary tool and cutter machines, uh, what we have and what we're probably most well known for at this point is the circle saw machines. Of course, we cover a large array of machines that cover carbide tip circular saws. We also have the Lorock line, which handles our HSS uh, or cold saw blades. So we cover a good range of those machines, including our service center, which showcases the CHD 270. So what we've talked about so far is really just this whole unit coming together in a larger building to really support on a national scale, right? This, this Vollmer Americas. But the last piece of this puzzle is the massive warehouse that you guys have, which supports being able to have components over from Germany at a moment's notice and have it here to be able to ship them out to your customers as well. So let's head over to the warehouse and take a look at that as well. I'd be happy to. Awesome. Well, now we're in the warehouse and I'm back with my friend Peter. And as you can see, this is a pretty massive size warehouse, house, house. 
Obviously, I'm making the echo, but this is a huge facility. Peter, explain to all of our viewers what you what helped you decide to really grow, not just this 30,000 foot facility, but really focus on the warehousing aspect of it. Hi, Tony. As I explained earlier, over the 45 years we've been in North America, we've seen growth. And over the last 10 years, we've seen significant growth. So it was clear that, you know, because of the extra machine sales, we actually had to grow our warehouse both in terms of spare parts and keeping machines in stock because one of the biggest problems we have is shipping um, times. One of the problems you know, with that is you know, a customer decides, yeah, I need a machine, I need a spare part, and we have to allow for transportation either on the sea or on the air. So we receive a weekly shipment expedited for all spare parts and we're constantly growing our spare parts department. We're under, at this present moment, analyzing what we need to grow and what parts we need to grow, as well as the machines in stock. So ultimately, what we're trying to do with the, in this incredible warehouse we're in right now is we're really reducing lead times and getting your customers what they need quicker, whether it be machines or parts. It is, you know, spares as parts and also you know one of the things we forgot to mention is in the warehouse as well we have a workshop and in the workshop we're able to train our people on older machines to therefore bring them up to much more speed because of course we send our people to Germany for normal new machine training but it's the older machine training that we cannot do in Germany at the moment. You know, I was walking around this warehouse and I saw some of those older machines that you guys are training on. What a wonderful way to start and learn. And I was looking at the older interfaces and, and it's incredible how much you guys have grown. 1909 was the start and now we're looking at what we have today. And congratulations on the last decade of real growth. Yeah, and it's important to reflect that not everybody can afford a new machine. So therefore we have to support our customers with the older machine technology as we all know now, you know, technology has improved so much with CNC equipment, but a lot of the older machines are hydraulic and mechanical machines. And that trade is a dying trade, so we need to educate our own people. And correct me if I'm wrong, Peter, but some of the machines that you have here are meant for rebuild and resell, not just training, but you guys will bring in some of the older machines either for repair to send back out to an existing customer or to repair and resell to a new customer. Well, one of the things is on that is, is that, yes, it's vitally important that our customers feel secure that they can trade in an old Volma machine. So not only can we do some of the training here, but we also have a facility back in Germany with one of our sister companies who can actually take back older machines and refurbish them to exist in other markets as well. So although we don't do many rebuilds here, in fact, very few, but we need them for our own training purposes, first of all. Wow, I like that. And, you know, this is the last stop on our tour that we've been on. I thank you for welcoming me in the front office. We've gone through sales. We've gone through service. We went through the showroom. Congratulations on the growth. But also, we have to talk a little bit about the fact that you have a gym here and a precision center with Zollers and Heimers and great machine partners that you have there. Um, and then just to revisit the fact that these things, some of these things exist and some of these areas exist because of how much Volmer and yourself value the employees and co-workers and the people of the organization. Yeah, very much so. One of the things is we, when we designed this building, we looked at what's for the future. It's no good building a building for the present. We had to look for the future. How can we maintain our employees' health? How can we give them motivation to come and join us. So we built a fitness center that people can use throughout the week that allows them to actually feel motivated, refreshed, to switch off from the daily stress. That's important. One of the things you mentioned about Zola and Heimer and all our other suppliers, it was important that not only when customers come here for our demonstrations and our training, that they see our technology um, people as well who are support us as well so this is the reason we can show the complete range and support our customers much more. Well with a building as magnificent as this one and the growth that you've had I can only imagine that you're going to invest in some open houses for people to come see it as well right? Well one of the things is, is I mean, 
just coming back on just the warehouse as well is more importantly as well is when we built this new facility we actually bought more land than we felt we would ever need so that allows us for future expansion as well and then the open houses we're planning open houses because obviously now with the new increased showroom that allows us to grow our open house facility more importantly going forward to help our customers because not only do we want to train our customers on site we also want our customers to come here and be trained as well when we have all the resources all the facilities to check the tooling all the facilities that they will not have in their own environment well it's it's amazing and congratulations again on the growth if you need mtd to come do uh some video filming work when you do these open houses, by all means, I am at your service to support your events. It sounds incredible. I really appreciate you taking me and our viewers on this tour of Vollmer. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this tour as much as I have. Again, this is Peter. This is Vollmer. What an incredible company. And I hope you guys will fly into Pittsburgh to take a look at this new 30,000 square foot facility.